Hey guys, so today I'm going to teach you how to do a puff stitch. This is a great stitch to learn, um, add some really cool details to projects. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm just going to make a slip knot. If you don't know how to make a slip knot, please watch my video, Five Different Ways to Make a Slip Knot, and I will um, put that in the description below. So now I'm going to make a chain. Let's say a chain of, let's say we want 20. So one, two, three, four five, so I've got a chain of 20 right here and this is a little bit bigger hook than I would normally use for this but I really wanted you guys to see um, what it looks like. So I've got a chain of 20, but let's say I want really 20 stitches across. So I'm going to do 23. So 1, 2, 3. Now I'm going to count 1, 2, 3 stitches back and I'm going to yarn over. So I yarned over. So 1, 2, 3. I'm going to insert my hook into this fourth stitch right here. I'm going to yarn over again and I'm going to pull up a stitch. And now I'm going to pull up some height here. You see this is a double crochet height. So I've got one, two, three. And so I'm going to leave it that height. I'm going to yarn over again, go under, and then pull up another one. Again, I'm going to pull up to this height. So I've got one, two, three, four, five. I'm going to do it again. So yarn over again, and then I'm going to insert it in that same stitch, yarn over, and pull up another stitch. So this time I have one, two, three, four, five, six, right there, and then seven. And you're like, oof, that's another time. So I'm going to yarn over yet again, pull up another stitch, right like that. So now I've got nine. So one, two, three, four, five six, seven, eight, nine. And I want mine super puffy. You don't have to do nine. You don't have to do 11. You can do seven. You could do five. You could do however many that you want to pull up through. But I like mine super puffy. So I'm going to do 11. So I've got to yarn over one more time. I'm going to go under, yarn over again, then pull up another stitch. So right there. See that? And now I have 11. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 10. Yarn over one more time. That's 11. So now I'm going to pull through every single one of those stitches. Now this can be the tricky part, getting through all those stitches. So now I've gone through all those stitches. I'm going to yarn over again. I'm going to close that stitch right there. Now I'm going to chain one, okay? Then I'm going to skip one, and I'm going to do this same thing in that next stitch. So yarn over, go through not the next stitch, but the second stitch. So skip one stitch, go through right like we did before. You need to pull up to that height. So you've got three, yarn over, Pull up again, same height. Five, seven, nine, one more time, and you have 11 right there. So again, pull up, yarn over, and pull through all of those stitches. Again, that can be the hard parts, pulling through all of those stitches, okay? So you make a slip stitch, you just pull that all the way through, and then you chain one, and you do it all over again. And you keep on going down the whole chain here. So yarn over, skip one stitch, and go through the next one right there. So then pull it up, yarn over again, then you have five there. Just keep on going. Seven, 
9, and 11. So again, pull through them all. You want to close that by making a little slip stitch at the top and then chain one. You can do that all the way down. Now, if let's say you want to see what, so 11, let's say that 11 is too much for you. So let's do 9. So I'll show you what 9 looks like. So here, same thing. You skip one, you go into the next chain right there. So right here, again, you pull up to the height that you need. So pull up, there's three on, yarn over, that's four. You have five now. Six, there's seven, and there's nine right there. So again, just pull through them all. Remember to make that slip stitch at the top to close it off, and then chain one. So you see the little difference here how the nine and the eleven have a little bit of a different puff to it. So it's not, the 9 isn't quite as puffy as the 11 is. And then let's say that you want to see how 7 looks. So you skip one, go into the next stitch. Again, same thing. Pull up one, now you have 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. So now you have seven right there. So there's seven right here. And then let's say you have, want to do five. Let's say you want to do five. So again, same thing. You chain one, you skip one, and you go into the next chain. So one, two, three, you four, yarn over, and then five right there. And then always make sure that you do that slip stitch in the very top. So here you can see the difference between if you do if you do here, these all have eleven, that has seven, I mean these all have eleven, that has nine, that has seven, and that has five. And here guys, this is how you do a puff stitch. Now you could go back and forth with this and do as much as you like. Thank you for watching my video. I hope you enjoyed learning how to do a puff stitch. If there's any other things you want to see, just let me know in the comments below. Thanks again for watching. Hey everyone, thanks for watching my video. If you like what you saw, subscribe to my channel. Push the like button, ring the bell. Um, if you want to know what kind of hooks I use, I'll leave my Amazon affiliate link in the description below. And I'll also leave the links to my social media and my Etsy if you want to check out some of the other stuff that I make. Um, thanks again for watching. Have a great day.